Okay, the more I smell this, the more it smells like a Barbie doll. As weird as that sounds, it smells like a Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's Lush by Barbie unboxing. Um, it may not look like it because it's just a black and brown box, but it's definitely Barbie in here because I did the pre-order and it shipped finally. So now they are here. Most of the items, just missing a few, but we're going to open it up. But first... Something doesn't feel right about this filming setup today. Um, I know what it is. Hold on one second. Well, that's better. Um, not that you can really see them, but I have my own Barbies. Yes, I have Barbies. I have the 13th Doctor, Doctor Who a Barbie because, hello. Come to daddy. I mean, mommy. I mean. Um, very excited when that came out. And the Reba McIntyre Barbie. She said, Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Because, hello, it's Reba, one of the best female country singers ever of all time. Um, so, yeah, so I have those two Barbies. So. Very fitting to have them with me as we do the unboxing. All right, so now that Barbie's here, let's get the box open and take a look at what the items are. Okay, we've got most of the peanuts out of the box and we can dive into the items here, but huh, it still doesn't feel right. I know what it is. One minute. And just like that, now I'm Barbie unboxing ready. Um, very fitting shirt, don't you think? All right, so let's get into the Barbie X Lush unboxing and see what we have here in North America. Um, so I picked up quite a few of the items that were available. Um, a few I didn't. There's a few UK specific items that we didn't get here, such as the perfume and the Barbie comb. I really kind of wanted that Barbie comb. I don't know why, um, but like it was cute. And it's a shame that only the UK got it in very small quantities. Uh, but that's okay. Life goes on, right? So let's dig into our box and see what items we have. Okay, first off, that's Peanut. I believe this is the Barbie Dream Car Bubble Bar. And it is... There is the Barbie Dream Car Bubble Bar. Gorgeous little. Um, you know, it's Barbie's Dream Car. Oh, this is a nice fruity scent. Oh, I love this. It's like, I don't know what, I'm going based off what I know my nose to pick up on the scents are, whether or not I'm right or wrong. I don't know. Um, I'll look it up, but Barbie Dream Car. I'm smelling notes of like cherry and almond. Oh, it just smells delicious and fruity. And like this bubble bar, you're sure to get at least three baths out of it if you use it sparingly enough. Um, there does appear maybe to be some shimmer on there. There's definitely a shimmer dusting on the front, but oh, this is gorgeous. So with bubble bars, break off some, run it underwater, froth it about. Mounds of bubbles. bubbles. Um, gorgeous. Hmm. I'm happy with that. Yes, I know. I got a bubble bar and I don't normally get them. <laughs> but I had to. Okay, next up we have... I'm just digging around. Oh, what did I just stick my finger into? Oh, it's a soap. So, there were three different soap. More peanuts. There were three different, two, three, three different soaps that came out. There is the uh, boombox, there is the Barbie handbag, and there is the uh, Barbie high-heeled shoe. I opted to get the high-heeled shoe. I just felt that was very signature and iconic. They all are. 
Um, so all the soaps are scented in the same scent. I just picked up the one because I have a lot of soap. But I wanted a Barbie one. And this is cute. It's like the traditional, like, stereotypical um, Barbie high heel shoe from Barbie. Oh, so this is the rhubarb and custard scent. And it is very fruity, very creamy, very sweet. Oh, this is delicious. I never actually got the rhubarb and custard soap before. So now that I have this, I can appreciate it. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it's so cute. So cute. It does look like Barbie's heel. You know, when she takes it off, hopefully she doesn't become flat-footed. Oh, have you seen the Barbie movie yet, by the way? Um, after I saw the Barbie movie, that is when I got really excited for the Barbie collab with Lush because it just spurred on just the joy from that movie so much more because if you haven't seen it, go see it. That's all I have to say. Just go see it. Okay, next item. We have, oh, here we go. It is the signature of Barbie B bath bomb. Um, I hear this bath bomb is loaded with lots and lots of glitter. So that will be exciting. And the scent on this one. I'm getting a powdery scent on there. I thought this was going to be more fruit forward. So it's very like powdery kind of powdery fruit. Oh, what is going on with my hair back here? I'm, I'm getting faint fruit and a little bit of a powdery scent. It smells delicious. I really, I do like the scent. It, it melds well with the other scents that I've smelled so far of the other products. So they are very harmonious in their scent world. But yes, so that is the Barbie Bee Bath Bomb. And what else is in here? I cleared them out to make it easier for me to find items. So next item up is the Barbie Body Bomb. Oh, she is soft. So that is the Barbie Body Bomb. Nice little heart shape with the Barbie B logo and the smell on this one. Oh, this is nice. So this is definitely more fruity and it is very, very melty. Um, I understand there's a lot of shimmer on here. Um, I'm going to rub some on my hand. It feels nice. It's a, it's a nice fruity scent. It's a very, very moisturizing. Do I see any shimmer yet? I don't see any shimmer yet. I don't know. It's probably not going to pick up on the camera, but it does seem to absorb into the skin very well, which is nice. So it melts super fast, so it's going to apply to your skin very easy. It's a delicious, light, kind of fruity, almost almondy scent. So I don't know if this is one of the ones that are like fruity almondy, but it's very nice. It's delicious. Um, I am I repeating myself on it's nice and delicious, probably, but it that's that's what it is. Um, it it's, might not be for everybody. That's 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 how it is with Lush, though. Not everybody's gonna like everything. I have a tendency to like more scents because I like different things. I like different scents. Okay, the more I smell this, the more it smells like a Barbie doll. As weird as that sounds, it smells like a Barbie. You know, like, when you sniff a Barbie, not that I've sniffed a Barbie recently, but I'm going back to scent memory as a young child, but it kind of smells like a Barbie doll. That's the best I can explain it. It's weird. I, I don't understand, but th that that's that's, it's a nostalgia smell that's coming to me, so... It's very cool. Um, so yeah, so be careful with that. Super melty. If it's hot temperatures, be forewarned. Okay, so next item is the Barbie Jelly Face Mask. Let's bring it closer. The Barbie Jelly Face Mask. I love that they did these pink pots with the uh, holographic um, kind of rainbow lettering on it. Very cool. Um, so jelly masks. 
Do you know how excited I was to find out that the jelly masks were returning with this collection? It's been so long since Lush had the jelly masks. I used to buy them all the time. My local store knows how much I was obsessed with them. Um, so the fact that this is back, so this is the old FOMO scented one. Um, I can't read this because it's white on pink and my eyes can't pick it up. Um, but let's open it up and show you. That is the face mask there. It is like, I don't know if it's going to show, but there you go. It is a jelly consistency. So you pinch some off mush it on your hands, rub it on your face, let it sit, bing bang boom, Barbie dreamland, face mask fantasy, you're good to go. Um, you leave it on like 10-15 minutes, wash it off, you're, you're refreshed and good to go. Um, so there's a floral scent to this one. I'm trying to remember what was in FOMO. Um, so I guess we shouldn't be calling it FOMO anymore, we should be calling it Barbie jelly. Um, but it was, there's like so there's rose, kale, and clay maybe on the sheet is more help. Okay, so yeah, so there's kale and talc. Um, I don't know what Chandrua Crispus extract is, but that sounds fun. Um, Amara bitter, so it's orange. Um, so it's Amara bitter, orange flower oil. Rosa Damascus flower extract. Oh, there's calamine in there, so it's going to be calming on the skin. Um, so yeah, so it's like a bit of a rosy scent to it. Not overly super like, oh, rose, because yeah, I would not like that. So this is very faint. So think like rosy cheeks, but in a jelly mask almost. Um, that would be my best kind of explanation for it. But jelly masks, they do last a while, so that is good. Um, I'm probably going to get more because I love the jelly masks. So yes, jelly mask. Very exciting. Okay, next item. It's the um, living in my Barbie dream. Um, sorry, I am not a singer. Uh, so this is the Barbie dream sugar scrub. So this one is should be nice and marbly. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Look at that swirl. Oh my god, this is lovely. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I'm. I'm. I just. I'm really loving this collection. Oh, words are escaping me. Oh wow. Okay, this scent. This is like oh. If I walked into Barbie Land, this is what I would expect Barbie Land to smell like. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. It's like fruity and sweet and candy. Oh, it's everything I would love. Oh, I'm sorry. I am just, I'm in love with this. Oh, the texture. Oh, it's so soft and squishy. Oh, this is unlike any other scrubs that I have known Lush to have. Sorry, I'm just in awe at staring this. Um, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to have to get more of this. Um, I only just got these and I haven't even used them yet and I still want to get more. Okay, let me see if I can find out what scents are in here. Okay, so there is sweet almond oil, coconut oil, Bacchusia citrondora leaf oil, um, citrus... Arantifolia, which is lime oil, apparently. Um, oh, there's cacao extract. Oh, that's fun. Cocoa seed butter. So there's fragrance. So that could be anything. Sweet almond oil. So yeah, so we're getting like an almond sweet candy experience on this one. Um, I really wish they would just say like lime oil, almond oil. But I get it. They're using the Latin names, which is the more correct name because it's the actual oil, not a fragrance. Unless it says fragrance, then it could be just a proprietary fragrance that they're using in a product. Is what it is, right? But yeah, so the sugar scrub, perfect. Love it. I haven't even used it, and I'm already raving about it. 
Okay, one more item in the box. Um, so, like I said, in the UK, they got the Barbie perfume. For whatever reason, North America did not get the Barbie perfume, but we did get the uh, body spray. So this is the Lush by Barbie body spray. So this says, a fresh, fruity, and fairy-inspired fragrance with sweet, tart cherry notes. Took me a bit. I got there. Um, so let's give it a spritz and see what deliciousness this smells like. Um, I'm not going to use it on this arm because that's where the body balm is. So let's give it a spritz on here. It will spritz eventually. Oh, hi. Oh, I never have said hi and welcome to the channel. My god, you think I'd get used to that by now, but hello, welcome to the channel. I hope you've been enjoying what you're watching. Um, if you do, give it a like and subscribe down below because this is me. I am Kenuff. Um, I'm actually Nick, but you know, whatever. So yeah, back to the Barbie uh, by Lush body spray. Oh... Oh, the, oh, I smell like a dessert. Oh, this smells like baked goods. Um, I know some people have likened this to um, like cherry gummy candies, um, but that was on the perfume side. So this might be a little different based on the way it's made. But oh, oh, this smells like it doesn't smell like cherry pie, but it has like like a cherry cake cherry tart kind of smell. I am not upset by it at all. It's delicious. Oh, I it's very reminiscent of the Barbie Dream Sugar Scrub, so which is perfect because like I said, if I was going into Barbie land, that's what I would want to smell. Oh, I really like this. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Um, yes. Hi. Um editing me here. Um so I've had a chance to let the body spray do a little bit of a dry down and have an update on the scent. Um, so it's less of that baked scent as I initially had smelled. And now I am getting more of that kind of gummy candy kind of smell. So, oh, so delicious. But yeah, give it a smell in the store. I think you might like it. And if you don't, like I said, that's okay. Enjoy. All right. Back to the rest of the video. Barbie body spray. It's a bit pricey. Um... It's this this one's expensive. It's like the one of their more expensive body sprays that they've come out with. Um, I splurged because there was other money that I wasn't spending on other things, which I won't go into. If you watch my other video, I went on a rant about it. So you get it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I had some extra money to spend. So I treated myself. Plus the body sprays last like a very long time. You don't need a lot. And they are generally up for what I've experienced. A lot of them are very long lasting. So it'll be interesting to see how long this one lasts for. But I really enjoy this. Um, check your local shop. See if they have it. Give it a smell in store. If you spray it on skin versus like clothing or something like that. Give it a bit just to see how it is with your body chemistry. Because scents change. You never know. I blind buy a lot because that's just how I am. Oh, gorgeous. Barbie X Lush body spray. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. Um, the one item that I didn't get, which you probably figured out, is the Barbie Pink um, shampoo. Um, so I didn't get that because, well, A, I use a lot of shampoo bars anyway. B, it's just Snow Fairy scented. It's not my favorite Lush scent. I don't mind Snow Fairy. I use it. I use the shower gel um, and the bath bombs. Um, the kind of pull for that one was the fact that it is overly pigmented on purpose. So anybody who has uh, light hair, uh, it is you. if you put it on dry, leave it in for like 10-15 minutes, it will naturally dye your hair the pink color. It's not going to be like fuchsia neon pink or anything like that like it looks in the bottle but it will give it a nice like pink hue to it after you wash it out and it lasts like 
three, four washes or something like that. Um, so this was teased a few years ago by uh, Rowena uh, from Lush. Um, and it was initially going to be called Fario. Because um, I think it was going to be part of potentially a Christmas campaign. Um, obviously with the name Fario, Snow Fairy. Uh, for whatever reason, it got shelved, never happened. So, so they released it with the Barbie collection and called it Barbie Pink. So yeah, if you want to dye your hair pink, just be forewarned. Um, it also may stain your tub too, who knows? So just be cautious. There is warning labels that will tell you that. So yeah, so these are the Barbie items. Oh, I love these pink pots. They're just adorable. So yeah, um, what did you think of the Lush by Barbie collection? Uh, did you pick up any items? Were you excited? Uh, are you happy that we finally have them in North America? I know my UK friends, um, you guys got these like the day they came out on August 10th. We had to wait. Don't know why. We just did. Um, but we have them here now. So yeah, check out online, go into your local Lush store and check it out. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And if you are, that's fine. It's Lush. Um, you know, don't think of it as a, a Barbie by Lush collection. Think of it as it's Barbie and it's Lush. If you know, you know. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, so remember, if you enjoyed watching it, please give it a like. Um, and if you want to come back and see more and just know when I post, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, welcome to my lush Barbie world. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.